Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nigel Barros. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get some good quality audio with some really cheap equipment. So, the mic that I have here is the Shengu SG108 shotgun mic. This is pretty much one of the cheapest mics you can get on eBay right now. It runs you about $25 to $30. Um, by itself, this mic is okay, but the audio that it gives you is just not up to par with what you're going to want to be hearing. Uh, so one of the biggest problems with using mics like these is that you still have to use the preamp in your camera to get the correct signals and with that you get a lot of hiss and a lot of noise that you don't want. So one of the ways to get around that is to use something like this. This is the Fio E3 headphone amplifier. This will run you about nine bucks on eBay and uh, there are other models but I like this one because it's small, compact and it takes AAA batteries which are available pretty much anywhere you go. So what this will do is it'll amplify the signal from my mic and uh, that will go into my Canon T3i and then I can adjust the levels of my T3i so that I'll get the least amount of noise possible. So uh, one way that I've kept this whole setup compact is I've used some Velcro on the side of the Shengu and also on the side of the Fio. So all I got to do is just stick it onto there and it becomes a very uh, compact setup and I just plug the Shengu into the file and then I get a regular um, male to male auxiliary cable and I plug it into the file and what that does is it creates a very small uh, compact setup for my audio and I've got to worry about setting any levels here all I got to do is go into my Canon T3i and set the levels there so that I get the least noise possible. Another thing that you can do um, when you're filming outside, you tend to get a lot of wind noise. And the Shengu comes with a foam windscreen, but I've found that's not really that helpful. Uh, you still get wind noise. So what you can do is go to your nearest thrift store and buy a stuffed animal with fake fur on it like this and just cut them up and sew yourself a little windscreen it, you know uh, the teddy bear cost me like three bucks I went there cut them up and I have a windscreen now and it works just perfectly so I'm gonna give you guys some audio samples of uh, what the setup sounds like I'll show you guys what the Canon T3i's onboard mic sounds like compared to the Shengu all by itself and then the Shengu with the file E3 attached to it so you guys can see the difference in audio quality. So what you're hearing right now is the internal mic on the Canon T3i. I have the gain level set at auto, so it's all automatic gain control right now. And I'll just stop talking so you guys can hear the noise. And the camera is about two and a half feet away from me. So now what you're hearing is the Shengu on my Canon T3i, I have the gain level set at auto again, and I'm about two feet away from the camera, two and a half feet, and uh, I'll stop talking so you guys can hear. And now we'll go on to the Shengu with the Fio E3 attached to it. Alright, now what you're hearing is the Shengu with the Fio E3 hooked up to it. The E3 is feeding into my Canon T3i, and I have the audio gain set at only one notch above the lowest point. So uh, I'll stop talking for a little bit so you guys can hear the noise level. And like I said before, the camera is about two and a half feet away from me. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, if you did, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll be making more gear reviews, tutorials, DIY projects, all that kind of stuff in the near future. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.